I've got to admit, watching these buildings come down was kind of bittersweet. Hundreds of ministry partners have spent countless hours leading thousands of kids to find and follow Jesus. The foundation of faith that was laid through their work continues today. And tearing these buildings down, it doesn't change that. This new children's ministry facility, it's only going to build on the foundation of faith that was laid in these buildings. As I think about these buildings, there are so many memories as a child. And uh, one of the things that really stands out to me are my Sunday school teachers and Wednesday night leaders and uh, children's choir workers and the investment that they made in my life and how they uh, taught me to just passionately love Jesus and they taught me how to memorize scripture and to understand the truths of God's word. When I first started coming here in 1976 is when I accepted the Lord on a Sunday morning. Um, got involved on Wednesday nights in the, in the youth program here, which was right here building 11 back then was a high school room under Don Talley. Um, there was a high school volunteer that actually found out that I ran sound in high school. He says, hey, we need somebody to run sound. So he got me involved in ministry right away where, so 40 years ago, last month is pretty much when I started my ministry working here at Emmanuel Faith, uh, running sound and from there just kind of carried on. When we started here at Emmanuel Faith almost 27 years ago, Building 11, which is no longer in existence, came down yesterday and it was kind of a bittersweet time for me. When I first arrived here, my boys were in second and fourth grade and I jumped in and helped with Rainbow Express at the time because we had children's choir on Sunday nights. I was here when Richard Williams designed them with the open classroom idea, which was very, very popular in the 70s. And, and then I can remember that building seven that I think he's getting ready to take down now. We used to have a missions week and one week we turned that into that whole building became an airplane and the kids had a ticket and they we had stewardesses and we had pilots and and they traveled to different uh, countries where we had missionaries and so they visit Papua New Guinea uh, they give they gifted places in Africa and South America where we had missionaries and do you know from a lot of those times we have missionaries today because of the missions things we did with kids back in those rooms I'm standing in front of where Building 11 used to be. It's hard to believe that this was the very first building that I ever uh, entered at Emmanuel Faith Church when I came to Candidate back in 1978. That's a long time ago. It was here that I first met the college students. It was before I was married. And boy, it has great memories for me of young women and men who learned to love the Lord and love His Word. And so, as I look at these buildings being torn down now, most of them gone, I'm just reminded of God's faithfulness to us, how He's called us and used us in the past and how He wants to use us in the future. So as these buildings go up, let's remember to give thanks to the Lord for what has been and trust Him for what He's gonna do in the future. So may the Lord raise up many, many, many more young people to know and love the Lord.